Peace and blessings, everybody. This is Jack30 checking in uh, to give some useful and helpful hints and, uh, and advice on how to prosper driving for Uber. Uh, uh, number one thing to know is that you know Uber drivers aren't making the money they used to make because of the uh, because of the, the, the rate cuts that they did back in January of this year. Um, I had a cousin that, that's been driving for Uber for a couple of years now, and he was doing so well driving for Uber, he was able to quit his other job and just do Uber full time. Uh, then he started working for Lyft and, you know, was really making some really good money, you know, and it was working out for him. And he was the one that actually convinced me to start driving for Uber. Uh, by the time I was able to start driving, they already did the rate cuts. And, you know, the cuts were, the rate cuts were very, very drastic. Detroit, you know, from where I'm from, was one of the worst hit uh, places uh, when it came to the cuts. And not only did they cut the rates on drivers where you're not making as much, but uh, Uber increased their percentage. So the Uber drivers got hit on both ends. Um, uh, that being said, like I said, you know, the, it's, it's not any real money to be made driving for Uber right now. Uh, the, there are there are exceptions, uh, and I'm going to go into those exceptions now. Uh, there are three different categories, A, B, and C. Category A are drivers who are driving uh, who are you who are driving uh, hybrid vehicles. If you can get a hybrid vehicle, you know, it's fuel efficient, where, you know, you're putting in one tank of gas, you can drive from here to Atlanta on one tank of gas, then you're doing very well. You're doing great. It's gravy. Uh, the second group of people are people who quali whose vehicles qualify for Uber Select, uh, Uber Black, or Uber SUV. Uh, and then if you qualify for either, th either of those and and you have a hybrid vehicle, you're making the real money. These people are the ones that are making the real money. Uber Select, Uber SUV, Uber Black, plus hybrid, uh, plus uh, hybrid vehicles, making the, uh, uh, making the real money. They, they're the ones making the real, real money. Now, if you don't qualify for uh, A or B, then, you know, and you're C, you know, and this, the, the level of C like myself, you know, even though I have a, my vehicle is a, is a, is a 06 and, uh, you know, it's leather, it's fully kitted out, you know, electric everything, but it just didn't qualify because of the year, it fell behind one year, uh, then, you know, your vehicle only, only qualifies for Uber X or Uber XL. Uh, uh, that being said, uh, if, you qualify, if you fall up under this category C, then the top advice is go offline. If it is not surging times two or better, go offline. Now, what's going on is is that there are so many new Uber drivers that are coming out that are that are uh, that are coming out because Uber is constantly flooding, you know, our our tech our text message emails, you know, or refer family, refer friends, refer family, refer friends. And what we're doing is we're flooding the market with so many drivers that it's never going to surge. And it actually is going to get to a point where it will never surge. And it's already been talk about Uber, you know, making a set, a set standard price and this and the other where surge is completely taken out of it. It's already been, you know, talking to Uber community about that. Now, uh, if you still want to, you know, be able to make some money and you qualify for this third for this third uh, category is category C. Uh, it's going to take um, a couple of things in, in effort. One, find out where the other Uber drivers are. You know, the way that you do that is you get onto the Uber, the, the Uber app, the uh, Uber uh, passenger app. And, you know, you'll see all of the drivers driving around in whatever little area that you're in. It's real easy to, you know, to spot them out when you're driving up to them. All you have to do is look in the window. You can see the Uber app on the phone in, in, in the middle of the dashboard or in the corner of the, the uh, window. Uh, you know, honk the horn. Hey, how you doing? Listen, you know, I'm an Uber driver too. Uh, you know, uh, let's get together and, you know, and make some real money, you know, and, you know, when, when it's, uh, when it's not surging, let's, you know, have a little agreement, you know, saying, get each other's numbers, you know, communicate. We'll just all go offline. And when it starts surging again, we'll come online. When it stops surging, go offline. Uh, this is the only way to really be able to make some money. 
if you are a new driver or even if you're a driver that's been doing it for a while now you know the older drivers know the driver's been a little bit more experienced know that between the uh the depreciation on your vehicle you know the constant tire changes the, the constant high mileage oil changes you know other miscellaneous repairs you have to get done in the vehicle uh at the end of the day and then plus gas having to put gas into the vehicle it's not worth it it's not worth it. you're driving for pennies unless it's surging it's not worth it uh so um again if you really want to make some real money uh go offline uh when you uh until the surging times two are better communicate with the other with the other uber drivers within your area uh, i'm down here right now at the uh, republican national convention in cleveland uh, i drove two and a half hours from detroit to get down here and you know i've been down here for a day and uh, uh almost a day now and it hasn't it hasn't surged the only thing that a benefit that i can say is i've been getting a lot of xl rides and uh uh but as far as surge you know it hasn't been surging like that you know, it hasn't been surging like that. Um, uh, and uh, the, the people I've been picking up have been saying that the, the drivers who are from Cleveland have been complaining. It's like, okay, well, yeah, we got all of this business coming into town, but it's not surging like that. So they're not really, they're not benefiting. You know, they're not benefiting from the Republican National Division being here. And, uh, you know, I'm praying and hoping that, you know, um, that you know me coming down to detroit is you know from detroit is it hasn't been you know a waste of my time you know i could have made you know what i'm making right now i could have made that in detroit uh uh but what you, um what you want to do again is uh go offline if it's, if it's not surging uh times two uh if it's not surging at least at times two go offline you know uh when you go offline everybody wins everybody wins when you go offline we win because we're driving for some real money the uber wins because they get paid regardless you know whether you know with a surgeon or not surgeon they win and as a matter of fact they make more money when it's surgeon just like we do so they win and the passenger wins because the passenger is still getting a better deal than if he was taking a cab you know, even if it's surging times six, which means there's something re re uh, really big going on, a festival, event, concert, something like that. And it's still cheaper than catching a cab. Still, still cheap, cheaper than catching a cab. So at the end of the day, uh, if you really want to make some money as an Uber driver, follow, you know, it's got to, you got to qualify for one of these three things, well, A, B, or C, uh, have a hybrid vehicle. Uh, where you can fill up one tank of gas and, you know, do things like drive from here to Atlanta, one tank of gas, uh, where you're only filling up once a week or once every other week, which is, you know, perfect. Uh, your um, uh, qualify, make sure your vehicle qualifies for Uber Select, Uber SUV, uh, uh, or Uber Black. And, you know, combine those two if you can, A and B if you can. And if not, which is the case that most drivers are in in category C, find out where the other drivers are uh, by using the, the Uber passenger app, communicate with the other drivers, exchange numbers, have an agreement like, listen, you know, whenever you see another Uber driver, pass this video along, you know, share the info, share the information when it's not surging during the morning rush hour traffic, the, the afternoon rush hour traffic or doing, you know, events and stuff on the, on the weekends then or, or the, the late night stuff, then go offline when it starts surging then go back online so we can all get out here and we can all make some money and we can all be doing well you know this is how you go about doing it if you're not doing it this way then uh you're wasting your time and you're depreciating your vehicle and you're fighting each other you know or we're fight out here fighting each other for crumbs literally we're fighting each other for crumbs for pennies so uh uh, let's not do that. Let's work together. Let's come together, work together, communicate with each other, you know, go offline. When it surges, that's when we get back online. So we all win. Uber wins, we win, and the passenger wins. Peace.